My name is Jason Eccles. I'm the president of Aquabound, and I'm here today to share with you some innovative technology that we've added to composite uh, paddle blades. So uh, our engineering team has developed a technology that we call Lamlock, and Lamlock is designed to protect the blade edge on any composite paddle uh, to increase its durability and its longevity. We have chosen to launch Lamlock on a new line of whitewater paddles uh, that we're calling the Aerial Whitewater um, product from Aquabound. And I want to share with you and give you a little bit of background the technology that this Lamlock uh, incorporates into composite blades and a bit of the history behind it and how it was developed. So one of the biggest concerns about composite blades in general for paddles, whether it's a whitewater paddle, touring paddle, canoe paddle, SUP paddle, is edge protection, edge durability in regards to impact and wear. Our engineering team took on the initiative to identify and come up with ideas on how to improve edge durability and resistance to abrasion and impact resistance in a composite blade. Lamlock is the stitching that we've developed that actually holds the layers of a blade together. So now let's talk about Lamlock and how it's effective in regards to uh, the wear of your blade. So as your blade experiences these impacts, it wears down and begins to interact with the stitching that we call Lamlock. Lamlock, because it impedes delamination, then also impedes the wear of your blade beyond that barrier, preser preserving the size and the shape and the perimeter of your blade. So let's talk about delamination and how it impacts and can reduce the wear of your blade. So when we show you this test coupon and we're showing delamination in this manner, we fully recognize and understand that your blade is unlikely to fail catastrophically in this manner. What we're doing is we're understanding through this test coupon epoxy's resistance to delamination and its ability to hold fiberglass and carbon fibers together. The lamination in the real world when you're using your paddle is happening on the micro level. So it's this exact same thing, but on a very small, very micro level. So when your blade impacts a rock, gets dropped on the ground, or incurs any sort of impact, the lamination is happening to the edge of that blade at the micro level. And when those micro delaminations occur, what's happening is that fiberglass or carbon fibers are being exposed to just flake away and, and fray off and basically disappear. And so when your blade experiences those micro delaminations and those fibers are disappearing or wearing off or flaking off, your blade is essentially getting smaller. So in a composite blade, whether it's carbon or fiberglass, it consists of multiple layers of fiberglass or carbon. And those layers of fiberglass or carbon are simply held together by a bond created through an epoxy resin system or some other resin system. In our particular case, we needed to identify how strong is that bond that keeps the layers of fiberglass or carbon together. So our engineering team developed a test in which we created a coupon of two layers of fiberglass held together by a bond of epoxy resin. And with our testing equipment, we apply a force that slowly pulls apart and measures the amount of force required to break that epoxy bond. And in this particular case, with composite paddle blades on the market today, and in this test, it took about 18 pounds to separate these two layers of material, fiberglass in this case. So that's what we call the lamination. Lamlock technology sought to resist the amount of uh, or increase the amount of force required to create that delamination. So in this particular sample, one of our very first samples, we tested a zigzag pattern of the airmen thread that we use to create the Lamlock technology in a composite blade. So under the same testing circumstances, same resin system, same material, but with this stitching applied, we applied the same test, pulling apart until failure occurs. And with this sample, the stitching broke and we broke the epoxy bond. And the amount of force needed to break this bond or to delaminate these layers of fiberglass was about 57 pounds. So we went from 18 pounds on the sample that would simulate almost every product on the market today to 57 pounds with 
with a layer of stitching. Now our engineering team then sought to improve upon that initial test. And so the second round of testing, instead of a zigzag pattern, we used a straight stitch pattern and the results were significantly better. So under the same testing circumstances, we again grabbed onto the two layers of fiberglass and slowly pulled apart until something failed. And the met, our machine measured under this testing uh, example that it took about 240 pounds to break this bond. And in this case, the stitching didn't actually break. We were breaking the fibers of the laminate, the fiberglass itself. And that wasn't enough. And so multiple uh, composite blades have multiple layers of fiberglass. The samples I just showed you were just two, simply two layers of fiberglass bonded together. This is the actual layup of our aerial blade, which has multiple layers of fiberglass stitched together with uh, multiple stitches. And under the same testing scenario, we went to pull apart again, and we have a significantly increased amount of force required to break those fibers. And again, the stitching did not break. So whether it's carbon blade or fiberglass blade, the failure mode is the same. So in this case, this is a carbon blade and we tested this as well. Uh, this is the carbon version of our aerial blade. The resistance to the lamination went up to 500 pounds. And so you can see why we're so excited about this patent pending technology and the fact that we go from 18 pounds of force required to delaminate or separate two, two layers of material to almost 500 pounds to separate two layers of material. So let's talk about edge impact and the ability of Lamlock to reduce impact or impact resistance to the, the, blade, the edge of a composite blade. One of the concerns with composite blades, in addition to delamination and wear, is that they're susceptible to damage when hit against a rock or some other type of edge impact. So we sought to identify how well Lamlock helps a blade edge resist the damage caused by impact or its impact resistance. We have a standardized test in which we have a sharpened tool, which we apply to a simulated blade. This is what we would call a coupon. We apply a, a tool with a sharp edge and we drop a weight from a certain height that applies energy and an impact to this blade edge. In this particular case, a simulation of a carbon blade that does not have lamb lock, the damage is applied and goes into the blade about 5 eighths of an inch or 16 millimeters. On a blade that has lamb lock, which you see here, under the same testing scenario, same testing circumstances, same test coupon, but we've added the stitching as you can see, the amount of damage is about half of what you would see in a blade without lamb lock. Now what that means is that not only have we reduced the damage or the impact to the blade from any type of, of external force, but in this particular case, you can see that we actually have not broken through the stitching, which means in, the, in, the, in a blade with lamb lock, once this type of impact has been experienced, this blade will still hold up and has quite a bit of life left in it as the lamb lock has not been completely destroyed. In a blade without lamb lock, as you see here, this blade is, its life has been diminished and as that impact starts to open up and delaminate, this blade will start to wear down quite quickly and its life span has been short. So let's talk about the added benefit of lamb lock. Not only does lamb lock improve the life and increase the life of your blade, it also reduces your environmental impact. So think about this, as your blade wears down, where does that material go? It's not going home with you, it's going into the river or the waterway that you're paddling. So as your blade wears down, those little bits of fiberglass and carbon fibers and epoxy, they're ending up in the waterway. In a June 2023 study to understand the impacts of microparticles on aquatic organisms, it was found that particles as small as 2.5 microns can be ingested and harm aquatic organisms. Most carbon and fiberglass fibers are larger than that size. So as you leave this material in the aquatic ecosystem that you're paddling in, we are leaving behind a trail of debris and pollution that can harm the aquatic ecosystem. So as a paddler, 
not only do you get to have a paddle that increases the life of, of your experience your gear, but you are reducing your impact to the marine environment. So not only does Lamlock reduce your impact on the aquatic environment, it can also help you as a paddler reduce your impact on the land environment. So if you think about blades that wear down, causing your paddle to become unusable, where do you put that paddle? Or where does that paddle go when it's at its end of life? Does it end up in your garage? Does it end up with a friend? It likely ends up in a landfill at some point. So if you're a paddler who goes through one or maybe two paddles per year, or even a paddler who goes through one paddle every two or three or four years, Lamlock gives you as a paddler the opportunity to reduce your environmental impact. With this information, you can see why we're so excited about our technology that we're calling Lamlock. It will significantly improve the edge durability of a blade, not just in delamination, but also in impact resistance and in wear resistance. That aramid thread will reduce the amount of surface abrasion or reduction in your blade size, which is particularly a great feature for whitewater paddlers. Having Lamlock technology in your composite paddle blade you can expect your blade to last up to 10 times longer than existing product on the market. We're super excited to make this technology available to our customers and to you. Uh, and keep your eyes open. You will see this technology come out in existing products and new products in the future, whether it's composite touring kayak paddles, canoe paddles, SUP paddles, paddles specifically for the pack rafting market, oars, you name it. The options are endless. We're super excited to make this technology available and we look forward to seeing you on the water.